So I just, I um again, shout out to Amanda and Jamie who helped pull this all together for us, you know, helped us connect. Um, so Amanda actually has sent me a couple of issues that were going on locally. Um, okay. There's the the Bright 74 project. Yeah, they're, um, trying, to, they're trying to put a uh, an on-ramp into uh, an interstate that goes through the district to make it easier for, for people commuting to Cincinnati, and, uh -huh. and some local people are standing up against that. So, I mean, so from what, from just a little bit I read, does it actually, like, what is proposed? Will, will, will what is proposed actually make it easier, or is it some, you know, somebody's pet project someplace? Um, I haven't, I haven't got that deep into it. Okay. Uh, initially, it seems like a pet project. Um, okay, okay. But, uh, I, I, honestly, I haven't gotten that deep. Okay, into okay. It. Um, is it is there but is there a lot of traffic between your area and Cincinnati? Do people like commute for yes. work or yes. okay? A lot, of, a lot of people, especially in the southern part of the district. See, my my district's nineteen counties. Okay. Uh, oh wow, that's a large area. Yeah, it's like running. It's like running for governor of New Hampshire as far as square miles that we right. have. Right. Okay. So um, that is a large area. Yeah. This the southern part of the district. A lot of people. Uh, work in Cincinnati. The northern part of the district, a lot of people work in uh, Indianapolis or travel to Dayton, Ohio to work. So okay. uh, the interstate systems are important in this area, and of course for commerce as well. Right. Uh, uh, but the one, the one thing about the Bright 74 that I really need to look into is, is the potential environmental issues. Because okay. there, there yeah. are some wetlands down there, there's the Whitewater River, there's some other things down there that uh, uh, that we need to get a little bit more involved in, but at the same time, it's going to primarily be a state issue as far as whether that uh, okay whether that ramp comes in. Now, if you if you follow 74 towards Ohio, uh, you're going to run into Lawrenceburg, Indiana, right on the Ohio River, and Lawrenceburg. We're trying to get a port put into Lawrenceburg. Uh, okay. We th we think a port will help with shipping, uh, with manufacturing, and. Um, we, we need to be utilizing our ports, our waterways. We need to be building bridges to our neighboring states, creating mm -hmm. jobs and commerce. And um, uh, I, I think that is potentially something that's been overlooked that could be very exciting, uh, a, a new port in Lawrenceburg on the Ohio River. I think infrastructure development, especially in the, what you're talking about, bridge building. Um, my partner is an iron worker, so he builds bridges. <laughs> yeah. So I'm definitely all for it. He worked in... Um, he worked in a fort. Is it Fort Fort Wayne? Fort Wayne. He was somewhere. He was somewhere in Indiana for quite some time, working and building bridges and doing other stuff. So no, I'm definitely all for. It. I mean, it, it's it's good work. It's needed work, and and it's not just. A, I mean, it does definitely provide needed, skilled opportunities. Um, you good union jobs, right? But at the same time, our infrastructure is 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 crumbling nationwide, and so opportunities to invest are definitely important. I mean, and it serves so many benefits. It's not only our bridges and our roads, but uh, also our water lines. I mean, yes. Michigan, uh, you know, it's, it's just it's happening in uh, East Chicago um, in, in, in the northwestern part of Indiana. Uh, yeah. We've had, I think in April, there was a, a study out that, that uh, 40 different water lines, uh, 40 different water dispenser uh, locations had uh, over the legal limit of lead, so we've got some potential problems in Indiana that uh, that Michigan might just be the um, you know the point of the spear, so to right. speak. And we've got some water problems not only throughout the Midwest but possibly throughout the country. Yeah, um, like I, like I had mentioned earlier, I living in West Virginia. I lived in Charleston, West Virginia, when we had a big chemical spill two and a half years ago. Right. And the pipelines, the old the old system and stuff, like they they say in West Virginia, like no two pipe systems on even on the same block are the same. You got old copper pipes. Someone put it, it's a it's a mess. But the system to overhaul the system to actually fix it, it was some it was just like similar to Flint, some ridiculous amount of money that no one is taking the time to actually invest and figure out how to do so. I'm definitely so. I am unfortunately running out of time because Ben comes on at 9 o'clock right after me.